to you in the audience coming from all over Europe and of course thank you for having me at the third European Youth Work Convention. My name is Jason Jakovides and I'm running Fields and Fields Institute together with some colleagues in Berlin. Fields Institute is broadly spoken working on educational and sustainability issues. We are developing programs referring to the concept of education for sustainable development and also other current educational concepts like citizenship education, climate education, environmental education and the OECD learning compass as well. Maybe the reason why I am talking to you today is that I've had the honor and indeed expect of some few moments, most of the time the pleasure to be part of the ESD community in Germany for more than 15 years. Currently I'm spokesman for the ESD expert group for non-formal and informal education and a member of the national platform for ESD in Germany too. It's no secret for all those 15 years we have been talking a lot about the necessity of implementing ESD informal and non-formal education, making it an unremovable part of structures as well as of everyday work. And it's even obvious that five minutes of time is a wise choice um, of time slot to prevent me from showering you with all the opportunities we see for how ESD can help youth work contribute to democratic, inclusive, social and just, sustainable and peaceful societies in a digitalized world as the program for this convention suggests. But I'm telling you, now is the time for being more successful with all that stuff and now is the time for youth work people to see ESD as a hub for their own work. Because on December 1st, UNESCO launched their new global program ESD for 2030 in Europe too. It was developed through broad consultations with various stakeholders and focuses on strengthening ESD's contribution to the achievement of all 17 sustainable development goals. Next to four major fields of action, the roadmap ESD for 2030 sets a priority on taking the youth seriously in their role in and their contribution to a more sustainable a more democratic and just future of our societies. Please find the complete text of UNESCO's digital library in the web. You will see in comparison with former papers roadmapping the global ESD programs, the whole text, the whole attitude, um, how UNESCO rises up the issue underlines the importance of youth work in the upcoming and indeed crucial decade for the world's future. As the roadmap states, it's more than highly visible. It is young people who are becoming increasingly vocal and active, demanding urgent and decisive change and holding world leaders accountable in particular to address the climate crisis. This is a renewed call to action, but also a strong call for enabling and empowering participation of young people all over the world and over all issues. It may be that most of you knew that long before UNESCO did, and maybe some of you think they now are carrying oils to Newcastle or to Athens, as we say in Germany. But in our view, ESD for 2030 further strengthens the role of young people and the position of, young, uh, of youth work as a key action area to attain the goals. The reason is crystal clear. Referring to the educational concepts I talked about in the beginning, we see modern educational work as a way to empower individuals, to imagine different futures, act collectively, take responsibility for their democratic decisions and reflect critically on the actions taken. It's no secret that participation structures, especially concerning young people, have not yet reached their full potential. But in line with the program ESD for 2030, we believe that the facilitation of democratic structures and participatory decision-making processes can improve the ability to face global uh, common challenges on a local level in a much better way. To be more concrete, what we are talking about, skills like how to reduce complexity, 
how to make decisions, good decision of course, how to cooperate and communicate in network and there's only time for a few examples, how to create impact. In Germany, one of the concepts with which we try to deliver that skills is the concept of regional educational communities, the so-called Bildungslandschaften. Central to its core is the goal to identify synergies and possibilities for collaboration between all involved actors and to gain new resources by involving all actors too. Involving all actors means taking into perspective not only schools, kindergartens, universities and other formal educational institutions, but the broad spectrum of actors who provide educational offers as well. NGOs, corporates, private educational institutions, self-employed persons, um, associations and funding agencies, and last but not least, experts in local government too. Fields of action you are quite familiar with, I suppose. So, to sum up, Bildungslandschaften can make a mark by embedding ESD as a whole because they improve the coordinated and complementary cooperation of formal with non-formal and informal education stakeholders. That, by using educational skills for activating local and regional potentials, supporting a collective solution-finding process and placing responsibility in the hands of all local actors and stakeholders. For that, the role of youth work in the regional community is essential and will be strengthened by the ESD for 2030 approach. Though ESD for 2030 offers not only a platform to network and collaborate transsectoral, ESD for 2030 offers also a variety of tools and instruments to implement ESD Bildungslandschaften as a more reconciled participation structure for young people. Let me finish by asking you to face our common major challenges together as a European network of regional education communities. Let us take our young people seriously and offer them learning environments and participation structures that enable them to work, decide and act collectively in a most just, sustainable and democratic manner. Promoted by European youth workers like you and lived by the European people, however old they might be. So again, thank you very much for having me at your convention. I appreciate very much being part of your event and I'm excited that having the opportunity to exchange views and opinions with you now.